Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to build this railing and repair that deck on Dad It Yourself. Okay, so we're at my brother-in-law's house, and we are going to build a railing right here and around there with a banister that goes down those stairs. It looks like that deck right there. Shouldn't take me long. Pretty much pressure treated 4x4s and some 2x4s and some 2x2 pickets. And then I have to do some repair on that deck right there. I get some damage on there and that railing down those stairs needs to be fixed and on the front of his house. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here I am at Home Depot, Happy Valley store outside of Portland, Oregon. Check this place out. Look at this drive-in lumber yard. You bring your truck right up next to the lumber, load it, or they load it for you, and then you drive right out down over here and pay for it in the truck. No more loading into carts and all that. What a great feature from this store. Okay, all the posts are lagged in with three inch lag screws. And then I've cut all the rails to length so that they'll hold the posts square and plumb. Had to notch out the end of that one right there so it would fit around that bracket. And then I've got this rail put in against the house and lagged all the way into the sill and into structure. So that'll be nice and solid through there. Let's go ahead and get these rails installed now.
righty, got the rails all in. Had to trim a little. These poles are not perfectly straight. So the key here to rails is this bottom one right here. So this space here cannot exceed four inches so that a small child cannot get their head stuck in there. Uh, no small child lives here, but that's still the rule. So mine's about three and three quarters. So let's go ahead and put the top rail on next. So it's two hours later. Um, I put that on there. You didn't get to see that because it was so hot here, 98 degrees at one point, that my camera kept shutting down because of the heat. So I actually lost that footage. But I have to do this railing here and then put the pickets in. So let's get that railing put on. Last thing I need to do here is put in the pickets and they are the vertical two by twos that go up and down here. Uh, code says no more than four inches distance in between them. I don't know if you can see it but there's a pencil mark right there. That's my center. So I'm going to span that by four inches and then go out to the edges. Got myself a little block that's four inches wide and we'll put that in and then once the tops are done I'll anchor them to this thing and then work my way around that rail until I'm all the way to the back. Let's get started on that.
and there you have it. All the pickets are on there. Just need a railing now down these stairs right here because this is more than 36 inches. The city of Portland says minimum stair height and railing height is 34. So at 36 inches, I'm gonna put a railing that goes out to the nose of the first step and then dives down to that bottom rail down there, which is even with the last step. It's about 60 degrees. Let me get that cut and then we'll get that installed. All right, the railing's done. 60 degrees to 90 degrees. 36 inches off the ground so I didn't film me cutting it because there was a whole lot of mathing but to give you an idea 60 degrees off a of vertical 90 degrees off a of vertical which means 30 degree difference cut in half 15 degree cut and that is screwed in there anchored there anchored there to the four inch post and to the bottom rail over here. And then this edge right here is beveled so that it is not a hook point. If you're walking down the stairs, you don't get a purse string caught or your shirt and trip and fall down the stairs. So that job is complete. Let's go ahead and bring my brother-in-law out and see what he says. He hasn't seen it. Okay. Holy shit, that looks so good. Wow. That looks so fucking good. Thank you so much, Scott. That looks amazing. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> that looks great. Test it out. Feel it. Holy shit. <laughs> that looks amazing. That's not going anywhere. Yeah. That looks amazing. Thank you so much. It's gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Do you like that? It nice. looks amazing. Yeah, came out really nice. It did. Did I get your railing? Yep, it did. Okay. With a return. With a return? On nice. Side, yep. It's nice. gorgeous. Oh, it is awesome. inches. I actually looked up the code and everything. Wow. wow. <laughs> it looks great. Such an amazing job. That looks outstanding. Now the rest of our house looks like absolute trash. <laughs> 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 wow. All right. It looks great. Hey, this was a weekend project complicated by the heat. It was really hot this weekend down here in Portland. I made this with about $195 worth of materials using a miter saw, an impact driver, and a drill and a tape measure. And that was it. I was able to build this repair the fire damage on that one up there and bring it up to code and a deck on the front bring that one up to code it was easy if you saw something you want to make a suggestion put it down in the comments below hey speaking of comments don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you subscribe hit that bell for notifications i've got some videos over here you may like subscribe buttons right here thanks for watching dad it yourself